one and all. And I know you're all very eager and excited to see our brand new addition to our town. Yes, Tess, and I can assure you that we've all been working very tirelessly on this project to bring it to you so, so we can have something nice for the town. Anyways, so without further ado, for the very first time, our brand new Snowden Museum of Local History! Woo! Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be awesome! Woo! Well, what do you think, Lenny? Are people going to like this? I, I really hope they are. Oh, I, I really hope people are gonna like this museum. You know, we put so much time and energy into this, I just, I want to go perfectly. No, 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 it, you know, Bernard, two things. One, trust me, we have done absolutely everything in our power to make this place look as best and beautiful as it can be. It, it's quite phenomenal. And two, no matter how hard we plan, something is bound to go awry sometimes. You don't think the mammoth statue is going to fall apart, do you? Or, or collapse in at itself? What? No, no, not like that. I mean, like, you know, not enough space or, or, you know, um, a small little mundane thing. You just, things don't just go as planned sometimes. You know, that's okay. Well, well, yeah, I suppose you're, you're right. Why on earth would a mammoth skeleton fall apart? That's just absolutely ridiculous. Whoa! That, that, that thing was in my backyard? You know, with Isaac around, anything could happen. You... you don't think that- Oh, no, 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 nothing like that could happen. <laughs> you see, it wasn't a skeleton this time. Uh, although, a bunch of chairs sick and knocked over. You know, I'll go handle it, okay? I'll, I'll be back. Meanwhile, you don't stress yourself out, okay? Alright. Now, I'll, I'll certainly try. Hello? Mayor and I had a talk, and he said I'm supposed to be on my best behavior now. What do you mean now? You're always supposed to be on your best behavior. You know, I like to think I am. I just like to, I, I get, I get distracted sometimes. That's all. Greetings, children. Are you guys enjoying the museum? I'll say we are. It's really nifty. Nifty fifty, indeed. What are you, an old lady? It's a really weird thing to say. And that's me and Zach. I can't help it. You said nifty fifty. Who says that? You know what, kids? How about I teach you guys about some dinosaurs here, huh? How's that sound? Ooh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, yeah, count me in. All right. You two know about the different period dinosaurs, correct? The Jurassic, the Triassic, and the Cursaceous period, yes? Yes, indeed, dandy. Well, do you know about the three different types of consuming food? Yes, but what does that have to do with dinosaurs? Quite a bit, actually, little Isaac. You see, there's three different types, herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. And their diet dictates not only their location, their size, but also their activity. How so? Well, let's look at the carnivores for starters. Dinosaurs like the velociraptors hunt in packs, and they have sharp talons and teeth so they can tear and gnash into their prey. They hunt in packs so that not only can they take down larger prey, but they don't have to hunt as often. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Indeed it is. You see, next up we have herbivores. You see, herbivores have more flat top and bottom teeth. This allows them to break down vegetation a lot easier. But because they don't have as many sharp teeth or talons per se, they have to find a different method of defending themselves. For instance, the Ankylosaurus has a spiny back and a battering ram tail that can hit predators when they get too close. That sounds mean. Hitting people? It is mean. But when it's life or death, I think it's a little bit, you know, acceptable. It's a, you know, acceptance can't be made. But I still don't like it. Alright, but the last one here is the omnivore. You see, omnivores can eat both plants and meat. They have sharp teeth and flattened top bottom teeth. So this allows them to do both. Do you know what's special about omnivores? No! What makes them special? Well, you see, not all creatures can do what omnivores do. Matter of fact, around 8% of the population is an omnivore. And 63% being carnivores, and close to 21% being herbivores. Whoa! That's really cool! My, my. I must say that the cola is quite drab. Ah, Gunther, what is a, it's a pleasant surprise to see you. Madeleine, yes, yes, what is a surprise to see you, too? How so? You know, I opened the museum today, so I was going to be here. Yes, yes, but in the same suit? Idiots, I must say it's quite the drab. But, but Linda bought me this suit. I think it's quite nice. Linda bought you that suit? 
then yes, yes, it is quite nice. Right. Um, anyways, what do you think of the museum? Well, if I'm being honest, I'm not a fan of the decor. Gunther, no one comes with the decor. They came for the content of the museum. Well, yes, I know that. I'm just saying it's rather dull. The museum are the walls. What? No, the floors. Goodness gracious, they're atrocious. Gunther, have you even looked at the museum today? Have I looked at the museum? What do you take me for? A common bow? Uh-huh. Gunther, what kind of skeleton's on display? A skeleton? Why? Why on earth would you house such a disgusting thing? No, I imagine it's a statue of me. A statue? Of you? Yes, why wouldn't it be? I mean, after all, all donations go to my backyards. Yes. Gunther, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go talk to other people if you don't mind. No, 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 right ahead. You go on with your mayoral duties. And when you see that oath, Otis, tell him that he could have done better with these walls and floors. Goodness gracious, he's just atrocious. I mean, he's a drab. Just the entire thing. It's just... Ugh. Ugh. Bernard, oh, how wonderful it is to see you talking with several individuals. They all seem to love the museum. Except down there. But I don't think he's actually seen the exhibits yet. You know, Lenny, I think you were right. About what? About expecting the worst. No? Did, did something happen that I was not aware, made aware of? No, no, that's just it. I enjoyed myself and spoke with the kids and Walter, and just, well, we just looked at all the progress we made. Oh, well, that sounds like you had a good time then. Believe it or not, I actually did. So what's next for you, Bernard? You plan on sticking around here? Oh, yes, 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 I do. You know, I love this small little town and plan on living here. However, I do have a potential project I need to work towards. It's, uh, it's in the Atlantic Ocean. Will you be going along then? In just a week or so. If it's a legitimate project, that is. And, uh, you know, if it is, I'll, I'll be in and out frequently, and I'll, I'll, you know, always come back home, though. I hope it works out for you then, Bernard. Remember, you have a home here, and you always will. 